Hello and welcome, good people of the free world, to the most popular mod on the Steam Workshop for like a week now or something. Hopefully it still is by the time this video comes up, otherwise that would be slightly confusing, but at least from my perspective, it's been at the top for a long time. Rise of Nations, I really didn't know what it meant for a while. I thought it was usually the top mods are just like texture mods or something random, but I'm pretty sure there's actually something to this mod, so why not investigate it? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've, I've looked into it a little bit and yeah th th there are many start dates I don't know if any other mod has this many start dates that are like legitimate starts the only problem is you know in 2017 oh let me just show you yeah you can see that some of the 2017 leaders aren't exactly accurate for 20 17. But look, you get new portraits, like, you know, they have accurate leader of Japan. Oh no, and then they have accurate German flag too. No, no. At least in the 1936 start date, you still get your basic focus tree that you would always get all the countries do. But the focus trees are not what we're highlighting. Today we're talking about research because let me show you some research. Look at this. We have all of the research. 1910 research. We have early support weaponry, interwar support weaponry, and then we have research that goes past the war to the basic research in game and then it goes down to the bazookas. It keeps going through the 40s into the 50s you have semi-modern infantry equipment modern infantry equipment and then you get the 1960 m1 carbine and then it goes all the way down you have like night vision special forces ballistic nylon body armor multi cam what, what even is the multi oh multi camouflage i get it <laughs> okay it goes all the way to 2030 it goes into the future but we're just getting started okay this is just Everything you've seen is just the infantry tab. You have the tanks, all the tanks, like everything. Like starting in 1910 with an armored car, it's going all the way down to like a modern M2 Abrams. Artillery, kind of same thing, just extended. Artillery isn't very different from the base game. You just have like coastal artillery, which is cool too and should be in the base game. Because, like, Germany had a lot of coastal artillery. You have what you would learn before World War II, like in World War I and such. Then you have your superior firepower and all your basic ones at the bottom. So, to, not too advanced. Ships, you have everything. Then you have helicopters, which, ah, I love, I love a good helicopter <laughs> research mod. Insane stuff. Of course, it doesn't start until 1950, but then still really cool. Air Doctrine does the same thing. Engineering stuff kind of does the same thing, just extended more. Then you have Industry, which is, again, kind of the same thing, just extended more. Then you have Space. You have Space, too. I've never, I've never seen this before. Like, what even is all this? Why would you, what, what does it, like, organize? Oh, it gives things more organization, I guess? I haven't looked into this. I just saw that there was space. Then you have the <laughs> Cold War missiles, yeah. It, it, it's pretty cool. This is the best research tree I've ever seen in a mod. But yeah, that's that's probably the highlight. The, the thing about this mod is it just lets you play continuously for as long as you want, really. I guess you'll run out of research eventually, but you'll probably never reach the point that you'll run out of research if you start in one of the earlier starting dates. Okay, now we can do helicopters only challenge. Of course that involves not going to war for like eight years or something, but hey, the US already doesn't go to war for like five years in the base game, that's only three more. But like Stalin, he looks like something crazy is going on. Like those, co that's a very vibrant picture. He looks like he's feeling the true power of communism. And you know what's really cursed? His ruling communist, all union communist party is green. That is so cursed. Why is it green? That just ruins everything. That just ruins everything. <laughs> communism is green. Why is communism green? That's making me go insane. I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with that. Do you know, well, party will never be green. The great and glorious party of Shake Suck, an all knowing authoritarian state. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this shorter episode, which is more just me enjoying looking at a research tree for five minutes. But uh, anyway, see you guys next time.